Hey guys, so I've been getting a lot of requests um, about how the Power Commander secondary fuel module and Auto Tune uh, work in with each other. Um, and then also, been, I've gotten some questions about how to set up the speed and the uh, gear advanced uh, tuning on the Power Commander 5. Uh, so, here I have it pulled up. Um, I just went for a short ride. Um, I actually just got back from the track uh, and now I'm doing some changes to the tune itself. Um, off to the left you can see the uh, different tables. The first set of tables are going to be all the gears um, for the PC5 um, and then the auto-tune trims for it. And then down a little farther uh, is going to be the secondary fuel module. Um, it has its own set of tables and trims as well, but uh, because I'm not set up on a dyno, um, my auto-tune is basically tuning the same for the secondary fuel module as it is for the PC-5, but in order to run it in gear advance, they have to both have their separate maps. Um, um, basically set of tables so that uh, it'll run correctly, but... Um, in order to do that, you have to have the sp speed input wire um, ran to the PC5, and then while I was there, um, it's on side on the side of the ECU. On the R1, it is on underneath the left fairing. Um, it's going to be the big black box with the two two plugs in it. Um, the two plugs that I use, or the the only plug that I used on the ECU, was the smallest one. Um, I can't remember what plug number they are, um, but uh, it, it's pretty easy to find. It's um, basically color coded and it'll be in the uh, PC5 uh, manual. But um, yeah, like I said, I, I basically uh, I, I'm running a base map, um, which is down here, which is the two brothers slip on and catalytic uh, Y pipe um, removal. Um, and then the stock aftermarket air filter. I think it's the second map that uh, they offer for the 2012 R1, but um, it's made a lot of changes off of that map. Uh, right now I'm kind of just going through and looking at all the different trims. Um, obviously you can see it's making some changes. Um, although with the 2012, and it may just be my setup, I did have to go in and um, change the um, actual fuel on both the uh, secondary fuel module and the PC5. You can see here it comes in, this map normally comes with eights, um, anywhere from 2% to 15% throttle up to 6,000 RPM. I changed those to 30 and I also changed the dip switches um, in the O2 um, emulator that comes with the PC5. Um, I had to change those around as well. Um, I basically went two um, steps up richer. Um, I was falling on my face um, as far as throttle rise, right around 4,500 RPM on up to um, um, 6,000 RPM. It would kind of stumble, sputter, and fall on his face. This is what I changed the dip switches to. Um, one, two, four, five, seven, eight are up, the rest are down. Um, and that basically took care of my problem. I have a little bit of an issue, um, but it's just above 6,000. So the um, uh, auto-tune has been uh, trimming that out pretty well, and it's pretty much taken care of my issue, and it runs really good now. So um, when you wire it up, you're going to need to go underneath Power Commander Tools. After you have everything done, the speed wire uh, put in, and then the uh, temperature wire put in, go to Calibrate and you're gonna wanna go to throttle position to begin with. Um, basically, warm the bike up, get it to where it's probably my bike, I would say right around 185, 190. Um, it's pretty warm, uh, which is typically where it's normally at in the middle of the summer. And then let it idle, um, and then when you go to the throttle position, you're gonna wanna hit, if you're not on a dyno, you're gonna wanna hit just this button here. That'll calibrate it to the minimum voltage. Obviously, you're not gonna be able to do the maximum voltage because you'd have to have it at wide open throttle with it in gear, and that's not something you wanna do. Um, on a wheel stand, it wouldn't be very accurate, and um, you wouldn't just wanna do it uh, riding around, obviously. Uh, once you have that done, you wanna go under Power Commander Tools again, 
and then go to the speed input. And this, I set my target speed for 35 miles an hour, put it on a uh, on the wheel stand, and uh, once I got it to 35 miles an hour, hit calibrate, and it was good to go. Um, and then after that, you're going to want to go to calibrate um, gear position. This one's a little bit more difficult. What you have to do is have the bike on the wheel stand, um, and uh, they want you to be, this is for gear ratio setup, by the way, I should probably say, but they want you to be right around 5,000 RPM. So put it in, put it on the wheel stand, put it in first gear, get the bike to about 5,000 RPM and hit calibrate. Put it into second gear, uh, go to 5,000 RPM again, hit calibrate, and do that through uh, first through sixth gear or first through fifth, whatever you have, and then click OK. That way, when you have, uh, when you go to set it up, the PC5 and the secondary fuel module module to be in advance, it knows what gear it's in so it can tune properly. Um, to get it into gear advance, you're going to want to go to um, advanced, adv uh, map tools, advanced slash demote map. Uh, there you can set up the secondary fuel module to be in advance, uh, which you want to do. Um, if you're going to have the PC5 in advance, uh, you have to have the secondary fuel module in advance. If you have the PC5 in basic, you have to have the secondary fuel module in basic. That way they communicate with each other uh, in the right ways. Um, so like I said, you put the secondary fuel module in advance, um, the fuel tables, uh, TPS, which is my, that's what mine's ran off of. You want to put that in gear advance as well. Um, and then if you have the auto tune, put that in gear advance and put it to set, uh, to tune for the, um, for the PC5 and for the secondary fuel module. Um, and then the tune style, obviously for mine, is going to be the TPS because that's what it's running off of. Uh, you'll hit OK um, and it'll probably say updating um, and then it'll, it'll go through that. Um, but that's how I have mine set up. It works out really well. Obviously the engine temperature right now is, is off. Um, basically when it's um, not running it's going to show a, a way off temp. But uh, that's it. If you have any questions let me know. I kind of recommend doing this for anyone that um, wants to get the full potential out of each gear. Um, I've definitely noticed a huge difference riding around. It's definitely fixed any hiccup issues, any sputtering issues, um, anything like that. Now, also make sure when you're installing the PC or the uh, secondary fuel module or the auto tune, it comes with an eliminator plug. You have to use that. I see a lot of guys having issues and they forget to plug that in. Um, it says must use on the package for a reason. Um, you have to plug it into one of the plugs that you're not using on the actual um, secondary fuel module or auto tune uh, unit. Um, basically, mine has it's really hard to see because it's getting dark but my uh pc5 and secondary fuel module sit underneath my my uh, my main seat i ran um uh you at the usb cords uh up underneath and put them in my tail so i don't have to pour, pull apart the front seat every time i want to get into it um all i have to do is pop open the seat cowl or rear seat whatever I have on at the time and then plug it into the side of my computer um but yeah, like I said, this is probably the best thing to do um, if you're going to run the secondary fuel module and the PC5. Um, I just feel like they communicate better that way. Um, they have their own set of tables, um, basically their own set of rules to run off of. The PC5 isn't trying to send something into the secondary fuel module. Um, so it, it, I just feel like it's a lot more responsive. Um, throttle response seems a lot better now, too. Um, I also recommend the secondary fuel module for anyone that has an R1 or basically can't tune in the closed loop section. You're going to get the most potential out of running um, basically this kind of a setup, whereas um, running the, just the PC5 is only going to tune the lower injectors. Um, you want to get those uh, upper injectors tuned as well um, to get the most potential out of the bike. But um, that's another huge difference between the Bazaz and this kit. Uh, Bazaz basically they'll, they'll tune all eight um, where this one you have to have a secondary module to actually be able to do that but uh, so far I'm very happy with the bike I ran a 1077 at the track um, not too long ago I think it was trapping right around 130 129 um, I know there's uh, I, my biggest thing is trying to get the uh, 60 foots down I'm having a, uh, a lot of trouble I think my my typical 60 foots, like a, 
a 1.7 or 1.8. Um, so I think if I get those down, I'll be Um, yes, if you have any other questions, just let me know. Um, oh, also, if you do any of the, uh, gear advanced, uh, setup, um, when I showed you how to calibrate the gears, if you do any sprocket changes, you'll have to go back in and redo that. Otherwise, your gearing is going to be way off. It's going to think you're in third gear when you're in first gear or vice versa. It's, it's going to be off and it's going to start to run like crap. I can promise you that. So, um... Also, there's some guys that are running into issues on the forums about running a uh, a sprocket change on the 2012 R1 because of the traction control. I'm running a negative one plus two setup, and I haven't had any issues. Um, no traction control lights, no um, check engine lights, nothing like that. And traction control works great. Uh, right now, the weather's pretty nice, so I don't really have it set up on uh, anything major but I have rain and B mode full traction and, and rain and didn't have any throttle issues or anything so um, yep yeah, let me some leave me some feedback if you have any other questions let me know I'll try to make another video um, hopefully that it covers everything in the power commander that people had questions with uh, basically showed you how to set everything up and what the tables look like um, I'm actually going going to go ahead and um, accept my uh, my trims and then send the map uh, to the power commander so I can do fuel module because I did make some changes when I went to the track. So, well, I hope that covers everything. Uh, all right, guys, I'll see you later.